Ladies and gentlemen, it is your love, your host here once again, it is Tino Mara. Have you seen the very first video of the day? If not, smash that bell. You will get a notification from YouTube. Um, follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, my own Facebook page. The link will be down below. Hopefully someone out there on YouTube wants to be a part of the Rara show. If not, then tough luck. I'm just kidding. But if you do, DM me. Well, double click the link. Then DM me from that page. Then I'll give you further details on a future episode. I'm going to keep doing it until someone really wants to do it. Okay, once again, I'll discuss, sorry. I will discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now, if you like, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, grab some drink. Now, if you don't like that, maybe you want to talk like a villain. And hear my thoughts, my opinions on the subject, and of course, sorry, the article down below or the link will be down below. Let's roll this. Now, look like there is, well, sorry, look like Peacock is gonna add more wrestling stuff on Peacock. Wrestling, more professional wrestling documentaries and special have been added to. The W edition of Peacock. Here is a list for W recent added contact to the platform. Number one. Oh wow! I have not seen this a long time. Patista, I walked along documentary. I got rid of my DVD a long time ago. I love that documentary. The Bishop, a Giants World documentary. Sting, I lost tape documentary. The the WWE. Sorry, sorry WF. Tuesday Night Titans talk show. I've never seen that before. Let me know down below if you've ever seen that. Probably way before my time. Taker, the gray match. You Think You Know Me, the Edge documentary. Oh, wow. Awesome. Okay. I guarantee you they're going to put the CM Punk on there. Okay. And I told people before. Eventually, all them DVDs you own or Blu-rays from the v exclusive Eventually, it will all be on the W Network. This is way before um, McMahon bought out, not bought out, sold it to the rights to NBC to Peacock. Now, I guess I'm thinking if W wants to add, you know, give Peacock any ideas, they just send it to them and then they put it on the website. So... Does anyone know if they have classic of SmackDown? I know they have the current ones. They did it on the, the so they did it on they had it on WWE Network. So why is that on there? Or is it, is it on there? Let me know down below. Because yesterday or the day before, yeah, it was yesterday. I watched the King of the Ring, and you were wondering what year I was watching. The old one, the, the King of Ring 2001, then when that one's over, I watched some of it, the King of Ring 2000, and today's the anniversary of the 2000 one. Yesterday, I watched, like I said, um, 2001, the whole entire show, and especially the current angle, Shane O'Mac match. That was epic. Great build up. You will never see that again. Those kind of matches, never again. Especially with um, Kurt Angle, Suplex, Shane O'Mac through the glass. You know, a couple times he failed in the, what, the third or fourth time. He did it, then he had to throw him against the glass. That was epic. And I'm assuming you saw the documentary behind that match between Shane O'Mac and um, Kurt Angle. That was epic. Epic, epic. I love the build-up between that. You will never see that kind of build-up anymore in WWE because WWE is so not original more with storylines, you know? So awful, but whatever. People who still... I'm sorry. WWE sucks you back in, especially if it's like a WrestleMania or a SummerSlam, but the other average pay-per-views, a lot of you don't give a flying crap. And you call yourself a fan. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anyway, this might be coming up next month. Better deliver. Hands down. The women and the men better deliver. 
the briefcase. You know, they better do some epic moments and all that good stuff. Then Kofi is going to face Bobby Lashley for the belt. You know, Bobby Lashley will probably beat the crap out of Kofi, I'm assuming. I, I doubt that Kofi will get a shocking um, victory over Bobby Lashley. I doubt it. But you never know about WWE. I love Kofi, but I think WWE needs to really part ways with the New Day. But, you know, he's a ring gear and I don't know. Probably will never happen. Be on his own again like he did back in his early days in the WWE. He was, he was great as a single competitor. But for some reason, WWE decided to put him in this New Day for a long time. Okay, everyone. You have a good rest of your Friday. Have an excellent weekend. From your lovely host here, Team Mar, right, right, flipping here. So, what's your thoughts in these articles? Or you don't give a fucking crap. Um, all good stuff. So, um, like I said before, all them DVDs for wrestling stuff you had in your collection, tapes, VHS, it's the same thing. DVDs, Blu-rays will eventually will be on Peacock. It just takes time. I know a lot of you will not believe me. It's it's happening. Okay, and I just don't like Peacock. What happened this past what Sunday? I guess they had a huge delay. Social media was mad about it. I thought it was my end, but everyone is having issues. So W, you better fix your crap, or Peacock, you better fix your crap for the next pay per view for a live event with a live audience. And there's W money in the bank. That better. Start on time, no issues, no buffing, and SummerSlam in August, that better had no issues, I'd be very pissed off. Okay, everyone, once again, have a good one, peace out, and enjoy your rest of your Friday, and have an excellent weekend.